So recently, the last video, you saw that I was able to film uh, with the 18-35 Cata Zoom from Dizio Film uh, with the Alexa Mini LF. On that same day, I actually filmed with the Alexa Mini LF and with the Red Komodo. Why? Well, the reason why I decided to film with both is so that one, you guys as Komodo users and as Alexa users or anyone that just wants to see what this lens looks like can have, you know, something that you can compare it to in the same environment with the same person um, and during the same lighting conditions. So I was like, you know what, this makes sense. Let's do this. You see is that the, of course the 18 to 35 is a full frame lens and the Red Komodo is a super 35 ish camera. It's a little bit wider and a little bit taller, but it's still around super 35. Of course, you're gonna get a crop factor on your full frame lens, but it still looks really, really good. The other thing that I saw is that I'm part of this Red Komodo users group on Facebook. And if you're not part of it, I invite you to join it. Um, it has people that are just starting or people that are about to buy Komodos all the way to people who are doing productions on, you know, like Netflix or doing full features and things like that. So you can ask questions and you can get all kinds of answers. Be careful and don't just go on there to ask what kind of lens you want to buy. Trayvon, just go to the office. What did I do? Just go to the office. What did I do? With that said, someone did do a poll asking what kind of lenses are people using. If you have the current uh, two other lenses of the Cata Zoom set, this is the 18 to 35, which will fill in that wide uh, area and you'll be able to see how well it fits into your Komodo. said overall I think the lens is pretty dope um, and you know I want to know your thoughts on the Komodo how it looks on the Komodo versus how it looks on the Alexa um, overall of course I love the Alexa because of the skin tones and because I'm just used to it I call you know the Alexa the cheat sheet it just looks great out of the box the Komodo you could definitely get it there and look make it look a little sharper and a little bit nicer but it just takes a little bit more work Overall, I think the lens is pretty nice. Um, if you have the other two in the set, I think it's gonna be a good addition to it, but at least now you'll be able to see what's the widest that you'll get on that lens. And you know, there's a couple uh, pros that I like about the lenses. They're pretty lightweight, they feel good, they feel solid. If you have a really good PL adapter, they should work very, very well with your current setup. So if you're looking to get a lens, I think it's pretty good. I think they're worth like three or four grand. Um, me personally, since I have done a lot of documentary work and we do do a lot of work where we're following um, artists or following soccer players or uh, just all kinds of different environments, I love having the ability to go to a wide. Which you can see what I'm currently filming on is an 11-16 Tokina, which is actually one of my favorite lenses because it's so wide. Um, with that said, yeah, just uh, thanks for subscribing. Now, I really want to thank all the people who have jumped on this channel i mean in the past couple of days we've had like 300 subscribers and i appreciate that a ton for sure so thank you guys and we'll be talking soon let me know if you need anything else later